Hello and welcome to Ask an Entertainment Lawyer. I'm Larry Zerner, an entertainment attorney for the past 27 years, and I'm here to answer your questions. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe below, and if you have questions for future episodes, please leave them in the comments. Um, if uh, you uh, want more information about me, you can find it at zernerlaw.com, or you can email me, larry at zernerlaw.com. Finally, please remember, just because I'm talking to you, we have not established an attorney-client relationship. Okay, let's go with today's question, which is, what are the benefits of copyright registration? People ask me all the time, Larry, doesn't copyright exist as soon as you create something? So why do I need to actually register with the copyright office? That is true. You Copyright exists as soon as you write something down or type it or put it or record it, then copy then you own the copyright to it without anything else but if there is a lawsuit or if someone infringes you there are very important benefits to having a copyright registration first benefit is one if you get infringed you're required to register the work prior to any lawsuit so if, if that's the, the thing oh I might get infringed so you have to have registered it so might as well do it sooner second Second uh, advantage, if you register your work in, with the Copyright Office within five years of its creation, then you get what's called prima facie evidence. That is considered prima facie evidence that the, 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 what you say in that registration is correct. Most importantly, that you wrote the work that you're registering. Um, this is important because sometimes in lawsuit it becomes an issue over who created the work. I had a case involving uh, the infringement of a television show, and the show had been, uh, the, the, the work had been written 20 years before. And so it became an issue because the person we sued, they said they wrote the work. Um, so then it became, uh, the, the, so the question is who wrote the work and how do you prove it? Because my client had not registered it with the Copyright Office. Had he registered, he, he, well, he registered it when we filed, but he didn't register it back then, in the 1980s. Um, if he had registered it back then, then this would have been a non-issue. The registration itself would have been evidence that he owned it, and it would have been the burden on the other party to, to prove that he actually wrote it. And since we were dealing with, there were no, we didn't have any computer information or anything, any way to prove it. Well, so the way we ended up proving it is I had to like find people who read it 20 years ago and ask them, did you, do you remember reading this script 20 years ago? And they're like, yeah, I do. So um, it can be done, but it was difficult and, and, and we got lucky if you don't want to be in that situation. So, you know, that, that's, a, that's a, a clear advantage to having that, that it is the evidence that you own it. And then the, the real advantages are that if there's a lawsuit, there are really important um, benefits you get by having registered. If you've registered with the Copyright Office, either prior to, uh, prior to the infringement, first of all, you have to register prior to the infringement, or within 90 days of you publishing the work. Uh, so there's a 90-day window. So let's say, you know, you, you have a photograph that's hot news and you, and it, you put it out there, you know, it's Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez kissing and you and you put it out there. Um, and so people start infringing it right away. At that time, you have a 90 day window to register. And as long as you registered in that 90 day window or prior to the infringement, then you get two big benefits. One is um, you get in any lawsuit, you get uh, attorney's fees. Now, that's important because, as you know, attorney's fees are really expensive. And you want to be able to get those back because if you're suing, let's say you're suing, trying to sue someone, let's say the claim is only worth twenty or thirty thousand dollars. Well, you know you can get through that in attorney's fees, pretty pretty easily. So you want to make sure that you can get those back um, uh, in any if you file a lawsuit. The second advantage, the the second benefit there is you can get statutory damages, and that's where the court says you can get. Uh, if if so, you're infringed. Beside, instead of the actual damages, sometimes actual damages are are pretty small uh, in a in a copyright lawsuit. But if you can so in a but you can ask for and get anywhere between seven hundred fifty dollars 
and $30,000 in statutory damages. And if the uh, jury finds that the infringement was willful, then you can get up to $150,000 in damages. Um, and that's only available have you if you've registered before the infringement began or within 90 days of the publication. And this is really the meat of, I do a lot of copyright infringement lawsuits. And it's so important because I get a lot of people, I, uh, people call me and I get have to turn down a lot of cases because they haven't registered, even though they have a good case. But because their actual damages are so small, let's say they wrote a script and it got put into a low budget movie uh, and the movie came out and didn't make any money. Well, Okay, so what are the damages if I sue them? They don't make they didn't make any profits, um, and so really the damages the 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 lost writing fee that he didn't get the fee he would have gotten had he sold his script. Well, what is that worth? Thirty, forty thousand dollars? Okay, well that's it's not nothing, but if I can file a lawsuit and I can ask for up to one hundred fifty thousand dollars in statutory damages plus my attorney's fees, you can see that that's a whole nother case. It's hard to take a case where you're only going for $30,000. And if you don't have thirty, if you don't have the money to pay your lawyer and you want him to do it on a contingency, because I work on a contingency a lot of the times, you really need to have those, those things done. So please register your works with the Copyright Office. You can do uh, a bunch of works at once. I, I mean, scripts, I would say register each script separately. You really want to to do that. But if you're doing photographs or songs, you can put them together as one compilation. And um, I'll cover that in, an, in another video. But for right now, keep this in mind. Register your works with the Copyright Office. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any other questions. All right. Bye.